so today we are going to discuss tiling problem so tiling problem is uh, a popular uh, problem which can be solved by many uh, techniques algorithmic techniques and uh, one of the two most popular techniques are um, divide and conquer strategy and dynamic programming but here we are going to discuss how divide and conquer strategy can be useful uh, for solving tiling problem so tiling problem is sometimes sometimes also known as defective chessboard problem okay so let's say a chessboard is given to us and uh, which has the size of n cross n that is n rows and n columns so here uh, the n is of the form of 2 to the power k the 2 to the power k form that means uh, it should be uh, it would be it should be either 2 or 4 or the value of n 2 4 8 something like that okay so 2 to the power k because 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 so the chessboard the problem statement is that the chessboard has one missing cell um, and, and we are assuming it okay and also the squares in the board is uh, 2 to the power k into 2 to the power k number of squares so as one of the square is defective or missing that we can say uh, the remaining non-defective squares will be 2 to the power 2k minus 1 okay if you have a square then um, 2 to the power 2k minus 1 will be the remaining non-defective square okay so the non-defective square obviously this 2 to the power twice k in minus 1 this can be so divided by 3 anytime you see uh, 2 to the power if you take the k value as uh, let's say uh, k value as uh, 2 so 2 to the power 2 into 2 which is 2 to the power 4 minus 1 that means 2 to the power uh, 2 to the power 4 minus 1 which is 16 minus 1 15 15 is divided by 3 so always 2 to the power twice k uh, minus 1 will be divided by 3 okay that means the the non-defective squares will be uh, number of squares will always be divided divisible by 3 because it is in the form of 2 to the power twice k minus 1 so the available defect now what the problem statement says that the available available non-defective square defective space should be should be filled by L-shaped tiles, okay, L-shaped tiles, L-shaped tiles, uh, the, the non-defective squares, uh, space should be filled by L-shaped tiles, uh, that means squares, okay, this L-shaped uh, symbol or uh, squares is called uh, trominoes, okay, so this, this, this terminology is called this L-shaped, uh, L-shaped uh, symbol or the L-shaped square is called trominoes, okay, the following trominoes uh, we are having so what are the different trominoes that this is one trominoes this is uh, one trominoes this is another trominoes and this is another trominoes this is another trominoes so this is l shape is l shape is l shape is l like that okay so this is called trominoes okay so now uh, here uh, when n equal to 1 there is only one defective cell so let's call this defective cell as d okay and uh, which is the only one cell let's say that when n equal to 2 that means 2 cross 2 4 cells are there in the chessboard let's say and then one one uh, this thing is defective one cell is defective then the l can be placed here as this thing you can see the second figure l can be placed like this and the third one is uh, and then uh, this in the 2 cross 2 chess 2 cross 2 grid the defective square can be defective tiles can be here so they, there you can you can place a l here okay so third figure you can also say the defective uh, defective square is that the uh, right right i mean uh, the uh, right and then down you can see this defective d is there so here also you can place a l and then finally this is the figure uh, where defective square is placed at the bottom left okay so here is the l size L-shaped, uh, L-shaped uh, square has been placed. Okay, L-shaped. Uh, so this the, this trominoes has been placed. Okay, L-shaped trominoes have been placed. So these are the four ways uh, you can do. And then if n is equal to two, now uh, and d is defective. Okay, now if n equal to four, n equal to four, how to solve this problem when n equal to four? Okay, that means sixteen squares are there. Uh, sixteen squares. So in this case, you can see. That means uh, one defective cell is there, which is which is this one. 
so you, we will use here divide and conquer strategy okay so one square is defective that means 15 squares uh, non-defective uh, cells will be there 15 non-defective uh, squares will be there which can be filled by uh, trominos that means l-shaped square that means okay so here you can see let's say the defective cell is this one so i can place here l like this okay like that so here only one part of the chest has been so this this figure is the one part of the chest uh, square other three parts uh, do not have any defective square. so here here is the defective square and other three part this part this part and this part is not having any defective squares with the given l shape it is not possible to tile the non defective uh, quartet which is true and every time you push uh, every, every every time you place a uh, l shaped uh, trominos here one cell will be uh, always remain um, even un, 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 un non filled or un, uh, which is it is not possible to fill that one um, cell because it is l shaped trominos you have okay so so the, the, therefore to make the uh, make the symbol uh, problems of the same uh, kind of larger problem uh, what we are going to do we are just partition this uh, divide this problem into sub problems four sub problems and we will make a two cross two uh, each uh, two cross two uh, grid okay two cross two grid so we'll 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 divide this larger sub problem into smaller sub problem, larger problem into smaller sub problem okay so therefore to make the symbol therefore to make the smaller problems of the same kind of the larger problem that is one square must be defective artificially we will need to make one cell defective for other remaining quadrant that means here we have to make uh, let's say second quadrant one defective artificial cell you have to make make here also in the third quadrant also you have to place one artificial uh, cell and the fourth quadrant also you have to do the same okay so that is possible let's say defective 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 these all four quadrant we are uh, having artificially created a defective cell intentionally we did we, we did it because then only this l-shaped trominos can be placed perfectly and it will cover the remaining cells in the grid of uh, two uh, four cross four grid okay four cross four chessboard so this is how I like we are dividing the problem into sub problem and then each sub problems are getting solved okay so now the same thing uh, same strategy we can also use now in case of 8 cross 8, eight chessboard and which is the 64 squares are there so here what we will do we will because in the same way in this 8 cross 8 grid also not possible uh, not possible to uh, fill the non defective quadrants uh, each quadrant is using L shaped trominos okay so what we will do we will artificially create a defective squares here in the sub problems okay here we are artificially creating artificially creating and our original defective file is this one defective tiles is this one and then we are artificially creating here so that uh, and then once you do that then here uh, artificially arrange defective squares here so this part has been come here so this is defective so remaining again you are uh, placing l-shaped artificial defective things in defective uh, trominos here okay and this also you have made artificial uh, defective uh, defective artificially created defective cell has been placed here uh, because if you go with the non defective uh, non defective uh, squares those are not possible fully to fill by l shaped trominos that's why artificial uh, defective cell has been introduced here but here in this part you can see this 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 one is uh, uh, this one is uh, the original defective uh, square and the original defective square this neighbor things in the l shaped uh, artificially created uh, defective squares have been placed to make things easy because we are dividing the problem into sub problem we are dividing the, the, this larger problem into smaller four 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 problems okay four sub problems now similarly what we will do now once you do similar way tile the remaining square so here it is artificially created artificially created artificially, artificially created and this original one any other also artificially created artificially created artificially created so just that you just style this one as l 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 like all uh, non defective you can this one as l this one as l all non defective you can uh, place this uh, this uh, and, and uh, this uh, tiles trominos okay and then now finally artificially created tiles also can be retail now here you have created this this part as artificially created tiles 
here also this part artificially created this you can do it this you can do it now retile this retile this with the uh, non artificial that means original tiles you can l shape terminals you can place here okay and this is for the this quadrant this is for the this quadrant this is for the this one so and remaining things so okay no problem so similarly you can do for the other quadrants also okay so this thing is like dividing the problem into sub problem and then uh, sub problems uh, further into smaller sub problems and then because every time it, the n is getting divided by 2 so the time complexity obviously is n square theta n square okay so basically the function uh, what this function says the algorithm says that if the rectangle is small enough place the tile at the appropriate position and then return divide the rectangle into smaller sub rectangle using the division function recursively call the tile for each sub sub rectangle obtained from the division again then function divide implement the logic to divide the rectangle into smaller sub rectangle so this is how this uh, problem will be divided into sub problems smaller sub problems and in each individual small small sub problems as two cross two uh, grid we can tile the uh, and then finally we can tile the entire grid of eight cross eight okay so basically what is that the recap so this is the four uh, l shape things are possible so let's say this is the defective and then this eight cross eight grid so we are just tiling here again uh, here uh, artificially created uh, tiles artificially created tiles and this is the original defective tiles and then you are dividing the problem into sub problem four sub problems and then finally we are tiling here there green color tiles here green color l shaped dominoes here green color l shaped dominoes green color l shaped dominoes and the remaining thing you can just tile it with uh, different different uh, l shaped dominoes so fully it is possible and then finally once you now do that then all these things will be tiled all these things will be tiled no problem at all and finally that you have started with this 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 part of the things like this one you have tiled no this one you can uh, you can again retile this 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 which you have created artificially you just place proper original tiles l shape tiles here and then finally you uh, retile this one retile this one as a uh, different tiles which you started with by um, placing artificially defective tiles for the uh, easiness of the problem because otherwise it is not possible to tile the remaining non detect de non defective uh, squares non-defective square so this you have started with then you at the final stage you just again so first you did did you replace this artificial uh, tiles for this for this for this and this and then finally you tile this one also okay so finally the artificial defective tiles can be tiled again so this is final finally the job done which is of uh, solving the tiling problem using divide and conquer method okay so time complexity already has been discussed it is if then uh, n cross n matrix then it will be theta n square is the time complexity because every time you are dividing the n by n by 2 you are dividing it so it's, it will give you n square time complexity okay so this is all about the uh, tiling problem using